Greetings everyone, the team at uh, planetwatt.com and watOS Linux are happy to announce a new release of watOS, watOS Release 12. Uh, this, if you are watching this video, this download is available now at planetwatt.com. Uh, we'll grow some mirrors and additional links as uh, the traffic dictates and uh, there'll be other um, media outlets, social media, distro watch others. We hope that we'll pick this up as we, uh, as we uh, get this underway. So watOS has been around for a long time. For those of you who do not know, it is a um, historically was mostly a, an Ubuntu based distribution. We have completely rebuilt watOS from scratch um, and derived it now from Debian 11 Bullseye. So it's Debian stable. And uh, the desktop you're looking at here is the latest build. Um, and you can download that ISO file and burn it to a USB stick or, or other media to uh, bring your old computers back to life. It's meant to be used on any kind of computer really, but um, it's really uh, specialized for um, older systems, low memory systems, systems that might need, uh, that you might want to restore some quickness to. Um, it has, um, this is actually the live uh, version. So even running the live uh, version, not the installed version, uh, you can see that the memory utilization is uh, quite low. Uh, I'm going to walk through a quick installation of the uh, of it. I'll give you a quick NeoFetch too, so you can see the. Uh, this is a VM, but um, we've tested watOS on probably a dozen or so different pieces of hardware, various uh, generations of processor from clear up to 12th gen and uh, back to um, Celeron T3100 from more than 12, 13 years ago. So we've got a pretty wide hardware range that we've tested on. Um, again, this is based on uh, Debian 11 Bullseye. Um, we've added some creature comforts to watOS uh, to help um, folks uh, make that transition and make it easy to do things uh, with the idea that we keep it slim, we keep it skinny. We don't add a lot of extra stuff other than some creature comforts to make your lives a little easier. So I'm gonna go walk through a quick install and then walk through a couple of uh, things that are uh, that might be new to some of you if you haven't looked at it and uh, we'll go from there. So to install it there's just a there'll be a, an icon on the desktop um, and I'm not going to make you sit here and watch the progress bar once I get to that step but we um, we are using the Calamars installer and uh, you can just walk through it pick your time zone it looks like your typical installer that you would use pick your keyboard layout pick your disk layout you can also encrypt the disk if you like and then uh, set up your username and password. I'm just going to walk through this. And it'll summarize it for you and away you go. So I'm going to pause it while this uh, finishes and then we'll resume again and reboot to the new system. Okay, install is finished. I have restarted the, the uh, machine and we're going to go ahead and boot into the real version of watOS Linux after it's been installed on your hard drive on your respective computer. So um, you will get a normal login screen, which is uh, light DMGTK, which some of you may be familiar with. And we will log into that and you get your desktop. And um, for some of you, this may look familiar. It's the LXDE desktop. Um, and uh, so it's a very lightweight, low overhead desktop. Again, we've tried to make this system um, feature full enough so that you can get around and get the basics done. It includes a browser, terminal, file manager, some basic tools, but no bloat, no snaps, no extra stuff that you don't need. Um, we have, for those of you who've used Debian in the past, we have added a few things uh, like the extra repositories for contrib and non-free uh, downloads in addition to the uh, backports. So if you need a newer kernel than the kernel that's on it, um, those kinds of things for maybe newer hardware um, etc. then um, that's there already for you and you can go search for those things and install them. So we've added a few things to it that will help with that. We also did add the um, uh, GTK greeter settings for that login page. So if you want to change the um, login to something that you like, a different background, a different icon, those kinds of things, that's there so you don't have to kind of get into the uh, deep dark bowels of the uh, system to change your login and customize things how you like. Um, you can see from the NeoFetch that, um, again, it's, uh, 
installed. It's running the 510 kernel. Again, the backports has a newer kernel if you need something newer. I think uh, 519 is the current backports. That obviously will probably continue to be updated as time goes on. The um, uh, but we haven't, again, we've tried to minimize the amount of extra stuff. So, um, you know, you've got a text editor, we've got screenshot tools, we've got um, a PDF viewer, a very lightweight um, photo um, editor in Gthumb, Firefox, uh, Transmission. Um, you know, we've added VLC for those folks who, who like to have that. Um, GDebbie, which is a, uh, a, a .deb or Debian package installer with a user interface. So you don't, again, you don't have to do command line if you don't want it. We've got a Gparted, which is a uh, disk partition manager. So if you have maybe some more complex disk needs or want something a little different than the basics that the Calamars installer will give you, you've got that. And then a kind of just a bunch of creature comforts to like setting up your hotkeys. Um, Synaptic Package Manager is involved, which again will be familiar with some of you, which is uh, a GUI way of installing, a uh, graphical user interface way of installing packages if you want them, and um, so that you can get to uh, the things that you might be looking for. So um, that's it. We're excited. Go over to WattOS, or I'm sorry, go to planetwatt.com. And yeah, you will see, we'll have a couple of mirrors up there for downloads. We're gonna seed torrents and grow that over the next couple of weeks um, as things progress. Uh, there'll be some additional social media and uh, videos coming out. Uh, we have a brand new Discord we have stood up that we're gonna be running our primary support out of, including uh, live text chat and forum channels there and those kinds of things. So you can go there and get some support. So all new in 22, um, Watt OS. So come on over, give us a spin. Um, and maybe uh, yard something out of your closet and bring an old computer back to life and uh, maybe not throw it away. So thanks so much for watching and uh, I'm sure we'll be recording some more videos soon.